So we're going to use some formulas to calculate the least squares regression equation. And if you're studying for the AP stats exam, these formulas are given to you on the exam. The first is that the slope equals correlation times standard deviation of our response variable divided by standard deviation of our explanatory variable. And we're given all that up here. Right here, correlation is negative 0.491. And our response variable is commute time, and it says the standard deviation of the commute times is 12.5 minutes. And the standard deviation of our explanatory variable, number of green lights, is 4.7. So if you put that in a calculator, you end up getting about negative 1.306. That's our slope. The other formula we're going to use is for the y-intercept. It says if you take the sample mean of your response variable and you subtract the product of the slope and the sample mean of the explanatory variable, that will be your y-intercept. So in this case, our average commute time was 59.5. We just found the slope above, and the average number of green lights was 11.1. .1. So our y-intercept ends up being about 74. So putting this all together, our predicted commute time, or commute time hat, equals negative 1.306 times the number of green lights encountered plus 74. Now let's interpret this slope. So for each additional green light Hazel encounters, we predict her total commute time will decrease by about 1.306 minutes. Now this slope is negative, and this makes sense because the more green lights Hazel encounters, the less she has to stop, and this means a shorter commute time. Now this particular commute was very different from the overall pattern. And it looks like on this commute she encountered four green lights and had a commute time of about 38 minutes. Correlation is a measurement of both the relationship's strength and direction. So removing the outlier strengthens the negative relationship between the number of green lights and total commute time. So a stronger negative relationship means we expect the correlation to get closer to negative 1. This would mean a decrease in value. And be really careful about this. It's a stronger relationship, but because it's negative, correlation is actually decreasing in value, getting closer to negative 1. Its absolute value is increasing but the correlation itself is decreasing in value. If you liked this video and want to learn more about scatter plots, least squares regression, residuals, and how to use your calculator, check out this playlist. Lots of students have found the first video on the playlist particularly helpful.